Professor Ricardo, first we would like to thank you for coming to our school and providing us with an excellent lecture. We know that you have we know that you have worked in many countries, including Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Paraguay, Spain, and the United States of America. You also have 30 years of experience in managing things, teams in large global corporations and startup companies. Could you please tell us and describe the work and experience that you gave that you have gathered doing this job? My my experience started when I finished my engineering school. I was lucky because I was hired by IBM and IBM took me to all those places. I was uh, expatriated by them to New York and to Brazil and to Spain. And this was a tremendous opportunity. A, a company that provided a school for me and a company that allowed me to participate in several uh, countries working for them. The main experience is that the more that you visit the countries and the more that you work with the people, the more that you listen to the people, the better you behave in these uh, multinational corporations or multinational jobs. I think that it's something that comes with practice, there's no mystery. The important thing is to try to be sensitive to the cultures when you're doing multinational work and also to be sensitive to the people needs, which is what we try to explain this afternoon to your students. Um, how is it to manage teams in large global corporation and bear responsibility? Was it hard for you? Stressful? Not at all. I, uh, I was lucky I didn't stress myself. Uh, one, because I normally put a lot of effort to try to not to stress myself. And the second thing is because in general if you work in an organized company and those large corporations in general are very well organized the things are relatively easy. Yes, you have some moments of uh, pressure and everybody has that in their jobs, but uh, nothing really serious. Very enjoyable. Okay. And finally, do you have any message or advice that you would like to give to our students? Yes, I, uh, I had a great experience this morning and this afternoon with your students. I think that even though it was a very short, short, very short uh, expression of design thinking, we achieved several nice results that uh, we can see here from your students in a limited amount of time. And my advice is that uh, don't take this as a simple uh, one afternoon exercise. Take this as an example that you can take your day-to-day -day, uh, professional activities and benefit from what we had the opportunity to share today. And just to finish, I really want to thank you because I always wanted to be in Zagreb and this was a great opportunity for me to get to know this beautiful city and have a great time with your students. So I hope that I can repeat that myself at some point of time. Thanks to all of you. Professor Ricardo, your lecture was very educational and interesting. Thank you once again for coming and sharing your knowledge and experience with us. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Cheers.